Hi everyone, my name is Shik by Shik, YouTuber and professional surfer, and today I'm going to be doing the single quiver surfboard review. Smells like a fresh new board. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Welcome, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about um, BV2 model, which is a model from Chile Surfboards. This uh, board was original made uh, based on the Black Vulture, which is another model from Chile Surfboards. So this is a summer board, and it's a board that can go from a beginner to a professional surfer. As we can see on this board, it has some really flat lines. Flat lines on a surfboard uh, means more speed. Uh, as we can see, it has a, a medium rail here, which is uh, really good. It has a flat medium concave and an exit on the tail uh, really flat too. It means it's gonna give you a lot of speed through the wave. You, you can see also on this model that it has a really wide nose. So everyone that has a little bit of struggle paddling, I have, uh, it's gonna be uh, a little bit more easy to catch waves. It's a 511-1918 by two and a half. So, this is the model we're going to be uh, testing out. I, I really want to see if it's uh, really rippable, if it's uh, really fast, or um, if I can do whatever, whatever I want on a small wave. And yeah, you, we can see also that you can use on Future Fins and FCS2. So I'm used to Future Fins, so I'm going to use it on that. And uh, yeah, this is a Swallowtail. Uh, really flat board overall, wide nose. Come check it out and uh, let's have a surf. The day has come. No wind. Sorry, a little bit of wind. Summer day, three feet. Perfect day to try it out. just got out of the water and I can tell you that I love the board. So I'm a heavy guy, I'm 90 kilos, I'm really tall and the wave looked really good but was quite soft. And one thing that I loved about this model was that on the flat spots of the wave I was able to generate a lot of speed. So on the flat sections I was able to kind of get away and uh, move really quick into the next section. The wave was kind of running, running away from me, so for me, uh, it's always really hard to keep it up on small waves, and this board really helped me to uh, maintain my speed throughout the wave. Another thing that I really enjoyed about this board was that it was really weepy on the top. Every time I had the opportunity to hit the lip, I felt really loose, and the wave, and normally in summer, the waves are really soft and small, and sometimes you have a hard time connecting your turns, and with this board, I felt really easy. Uh, another thing that uh, surprised me is that uh, every time I, I tried an air, it has a lot of nose. So it was really easy to land my airs. My front foot was always on the board and really helped me out 
turning the board around. So that was something that uh, I, I found really easy. Another thing that uh, felt great was the pedaling. The board has a lot of volume. Uh, as I said before, it has 32 liters. I normally use 33, 34, but this felt just great for my size and weight. And uh, overall, I thought it was a really easy going board. So I, I think from beginners to experts, it's a really good choice. For sure, this is the type of board I, I would have on my quiver for the summertime. And um, yeah, overall, uh, from zero to five, I'm gonna give it a five. Felt really fun. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my session. Uh, see you on the next episode.